Profiling local companies doing big things, leading the way and making new discoveries. You've heard of, of course, the iPod, the iPad, the iPhone, but now we look at a local invention called the iBrain. Jack Gates with our partner Channel 4 San Diego is here to tell us about the iBrain. Well, I'll try to explain it with my feeble little brain, <laughs> but Philip Lowe of La Jolla calls himself an accidental neuroscientist slash entrepreneur. He invented the iBrain, a personalized device to monitor brain activity during sleep. He's awakened the scientific world. 31-year-old Philip Lowe says even as a kid growing up in Switzerland and France, he was always curious and liked to tinker with things. I've always tried to look at things very differently. The neuroscientist started looking into devices that monitor and diagnose the brain during sleep. He came up with the eye brain, which easily fits on the head, because he would always see sleep patients hooked up to all these cumbersome wires and electrodes. This person will have to spend a night in, in, in this hospital with wires all over his or her body and that person will be attached to the wall. It's a very uncomfortable uh, situation as you can imagine. His eye brain invention is a portable elastic head harness worn at your convenience. Instead of a mass of wires to study brain activity during sleep, Lowe created a mind-boggling algorithm a half million lines long. He figured out how to reduce all those electrodes, or EEGs, down to just one. We're able to produce maps of brain activity from a single EEG. Now that's never been done before. Usually a sleep disorder patient getting diagnosed will stay overnight in a hospital monitored by several people. But the eye brain transmits brain activity through a wireless cell phone to computers for analysis at his La Jolla company, NeuroVigil. This gives us the great opportunity to scan individual areas of the brain using a device that you can wear at home. This year, the iBrain inventor was named by the MIT Technology Review as one of the world's most promising innovators. Dr. Lowe believes this is just the beginning of what the iBrain will evolve into. He imagines a long list of possible uses. Like using the iBrain to get a map of brain activity from patients with depression, schizophrenia, Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. We're looking at the way this map changes in our clinical trials for Alzheimer's and other pathologies uh, in order to make sure that we can detect it early when less damage has occurred so that we can be more helpful. A compact wireless way to use sleep as a microscope into brain activity. The future is uh, as diverse as your brain and uh, we hope that we'll be able to uh, be the first to tell you about it. Now, Dr. Lowe says he chose to have his company here because he believes San Diego is the epicenter of a wireless health revolution, meaning smaller, personalized wireless devices will be diagnosing and analyzing our problems to be treated. It is the future. It is. Is it being used right now on patients? Uh, on, kind of on a referral basis right now, from uh, doctor to patient. You can't get it at a, a drugstore right now, but he hopes to get enough uh, backing, financial backing, to have it mass produced and get it in drugstores and eventually get the cost down to like less than a hundred dollars. Wow. So it's going to have a lot of uses. Pretty Very cool. Very cool. Yep. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Well, your favorite high school program could be $5,000 richer. In an effort to inspire students to take action on education reform, NBC has launched the Homeroom Reformers Challenge. It's a student essay contest sponsored by the Education Nation Initiative.